everybody, it's Eugene, and I am going to be doing a quick walkthrough of Recon 3D, what the workflow is, and what some of the settings are in the app. So what I've got behind me is just a small, you know, few little objects here with some evidence markers. I got a hammer, I got a footprint in sand, and I've got a chair. So we're going to scan this very, very quickly. And, um, you know, I'm not really going to talk about sort of the best practices of scanning, but more about just the workflow. So let's jump in. I'm going to put Recon 3D up here on the screen. And you'll see here that uh, I'm in the scans menu right now. And there's really three buttons at the bottom. So I've got a file folder. I've got the uh, settings, like a more tab here with some other stuff. And then I've got the plus button. And when I hit the plus button, you'll see that it goes right in and uh, gives you a default date and time. And that, that's what it names your scan. Now I'm going to change that. So I'm just going to hit the X button there. And I'll just call this demo and go create. So name it whatever you want and then get in. So there's some settings here, start and stop tone. So um, I can turn this on and I'll get a beep whenever I hit the start and stop record button. And the mode is standard. In the future, there may be some other settings that are here. Scan density is five millimeters. Of course, you can change this lower and higher, and this will give you more data. Now, I, I'm gonna stick with uh, five, four millimeters or something like that for this one. Now I'm up close. You have to think about the scan density in terms of what's maximum achievable, but that'll be the, the maximum uh, density of the data. So even if I put it at one millimeter, but I'm really, really far away, I'm not gonna be getting one millimeter anyway. I'll just get a bunch of noise. So uh, think of it in terms of, you know, one millimeter, you're gonna to wanna to be a little bit closer to the object and five millimeters, uh, you know, sort of a car or a room or something like that is absolutely fine at five. So I'm gonna leave it at three and that's fine. Target detection. So I'm gonna turn that on. Uh, just to show you, but I'm not actually going to use it. But you'll see that a little thumbnail pops up of the April tag. And if I click on it, I can print it or I can share this particular image. And so targets are helpful whenever you want to get an accurate scan. So you're going to print two of these out. You're going to lay them across your scene uh, or across the object as wide as you can go and that you can accurately measure. And then uh, you're going to enter that value down below where it says target distance here. You just type it in. Now I am not going to use this, so I'm just going to shut it off and I'll do another video just on targets because they are quite important and super useful when you want to get a more accurate point cloud data. So let me save the scans here. And that's it, we're now into the record screen. So if I hit the record button, it'll start. And I've got a couple of options here. So there's actually a, a flash. So if I, if, I, if I turn that on, I'll get the, uh, sorry, I'll get the flashlight and the torch, uh, whichever word you prefer. And I also have a timer. So let's say I'm gonna put this up on a pole, but I don't wanna hit record and then you know, lift the pole up. I can put a five, 10 or 15 second delay. So let me put a five second delay, for example. And then that gives me a few seconds to you know, hit record and then get the, pull up. And I did have the sound on, so I should be able to hear it. In fact, I'm just going to increase the volume so it's nice and loud. So I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to do like just a few seconds here. So I'm going to go ahead and go, go ahead. So it's counting down five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right. So you may have heard the sound and I'm just going to do a quick scan. Nothing special here. Just like that. Okay. That's fine. And it stopped. Okay, so now on my screen, what you're going to see is that I have some options. So first one is process on device. So if you're worried about transmitting data over the internet, you can do it completely on the phone. However, the phone only has so much horsepower, so you're going to be pretty limited. Uh, once you start getting over a two minute scan, the phone is going to be heavily taxed and probably not going to work out so great. So one to two minute scans up to, you know, up to two minutes, you're going to be fine. Process on cloud. Now, uh, if I hit that right now, what will happen is it's going to jump to the scan list and it's going to start uploading. Now, you do have a couple of options there. You can upload via Wi-Fi and you can upload via cellular or you can have them both on or you can just shut them off completely. So that's up to you and I'll show you where that is in a second. Then it says save for later. So if you're going to be doing a lot of scanning, just go ahead, scan, save it for later, scan, save for later, do three, four, five scans, whatever you want. And what you can do is upload them all later. Now the uploads happen sequentially, but you can queue them up. And once they get queued up, they all go up and then uh, you should be okay. The other one is restart and the other one is cancel. So those are all your options that are here. I'm going to just say, you know, save for later. 
And that gets me into the scan list here, okay? So I've got a bunch of scans that are here. So I did demo, which is right at the top, and you'll see it says uploading via Wi-Fi at the top, right? So there's a little gear in the, in the top right, I'm gonna click on that, and you'll see that it says sync via Wi-Fi, and then there's uh, sync via cellular is crossed out. So that means it's not gonna upload via your cellular data. So if you do want that, you just click on it, and now you have both options available to you. Uh, if you wanna shut everything off, then you just gotta make sure that both are off and nothing will get uploaded as well. Okay, but I'm gonna leave Wi-Fi on, and uh, if I wanna upload here, I go into the scan. Now, it does give me the option again here at the bottom. I can process on the device, or I can process on the cloud. And then there's even some sharing possibilities. So if I hit share, you know, it'll give me the video to share, and I can even delete the scan from here too. So, um, you know, if I want to process on device, maybe I'll do it on the device right now. So let me go ahead and process on device. You'll see on here that it's going to start running through the video and start doing some things. So um, that's pretty much the basic workflow. If you do process on the device, just as I'm doing right now, once it's done, I'll be able to see the result in point cloud right on the phone. So there's nothing that you get through email or anything like that. And you can share it on the phone once it's done. So you can share it to OneDrive or Google Drive or Dropbox, whatever. And now if you process on the cloud, it will upload. And once it's uploaded, you'll get a confirmation here that just says, you know, finished upload and you wait. And once the uh, uh, processing is done, you get an email back and you also get a notification on the phone. So once you get that, that means the data is ready. So when the data is ready, I can actually go back to the previous screen that I was at. And instead of process on cloud, I just download the data and I'll be able to uh, see it on my phone. Also in the email that you get, you can download it directly as an E57 file. So E57 is sort of a standard format, and that's the format that, um, you know, the only format that we provide. You can bring it into Cloud Compare, you can convert it. There's a whole number of other things that you can do. So I'm gonna let this cook here, and then I'll show you the final result, result once it pops up. But otherwise, that's the basic workflow. It's pretty quick, it's pretty simple, and uh, yeah, hope you try it, and happy scanning. Well, it just popped up there, so I may as well show you what I got here. But that's it right there. So you'll be able to see that on the screen. Super cool. All right, thanks folks, bye-bye.